everybody, I'm Katie McCann. I'm the director of Dance in the Parks, and I'm here with Craig B. Miller, dancer who has been with the company longer than anybody else. I um, win. He wins. He wins. He is a dancer. This year he is choreographing. Um, he is also our social media coordinator. He does all the jobs. All of it. And I'm so grateful for it because it means <laughs> that it is two less things I have to do. So grateful. Um, he is back, what is this, your eighth, ninth season? Eighth, eighth. season. Eighth, eighth. season. We've only had 11. I'm the only one who's been here longer and I'm not dancing. So, winning again. Um, Craig, where did you come from? Uh, I am from Southville, Michigan. That is in the Detroit metro area. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been here in Chicago for, it'll be nine years this summer. Good time. Um, where did you start dancing? Uh, I actually started dancing in high school. My okay. high school had a, um, an academy program. So in my high school, we had an actual arts program. Right. And like, I've always been into musical theater, always sang my whole life, right. always acted my whole life, but I didn't start dancing. You gotta get that third one. You gotta get that third one. one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because, like, uh, my introduction to dance was we were doing Fame the Musical, the first high school to ever do it. Oh my God, you are a living cliche. I know, I'm so a living cliche. <laughs> I love it. And it was like, I don't remember the combination, but I just remember we like rolled to the floor, like head back, boom. And it was the Janet Jackson yeah, yeah. Uh, pleasure principle. And then for then I just kept on going. And then I went to a studio called Motor City Dance Factory uh -huh. for my senior year. That was my junior year. So like senior year of high school, I did that. And then I got a scholarship to Oakland University where I had my BA in dance performance. And then... Uh, I trained at the Bailey School, Alonzo King's Lions Ballet, and Dan Contemporary Dance Company. All those high-end training programs. So Super expensive. good. Super good. But so good. Um, yes. How'd you end up here? What happened? Uh, I got a job with Inside Chicago Dance mm -hmm. uh, when Richard Smith Second was Second time Inside's come up in these conversations. Mm -hmm. Hey, Inside. What up, Love you. Um, and so I was the performing apprentice, and I've been here ever since. I did two seasons with them. So Everyone. what are you doing now uh, when you're not with us? So, there's a couple of new developments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something to think about, you know. Um, right now, I am the Academy Director for the Ruth Page Keystone Academy program that is at the Whitworth School in Inglewood uh, neighborhood here in Chicago. And so, we are training the next generation of black ballerinas. Love so, it. Love we it. Uh, support them from the age of nine until 13. Then they get a full scholarship at Ruth Page through high school. Nice. And if they want to pursue dance even more, we then give them a spot into Ruth Page to the ballet. Nice. So pretty much from the age of nine, about 21. Babies. Training. Yeah. And That's it's audition-based, so it's, it's, it's not enrichment, it's training. So yeah. we're yeah. selective. We don't like it. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you. So that really great. And then um, a choreographed musical over the winter, Adam's Family. You, do you do things that are not work-related? <laughs> do you have any like um, fun things you I, like to do? <laughs> a hobby maybe? A um, hobby is sleeping. My hobby is sleeping. Also, I really, I really do love watching TV. That is like my it's happy kind of place. Kind of um, what and, are you watching? Well, I, I'm a great, huge Grey's Anatomy fan. Okay. Um, I also watch a lot of DVDs. I know I'm really old school with the DVDs. Keep, you spent your money and keep watching. I know. Them. Yeah. So like, so I love, watch a lot of action. I like the cartoons. I'm a big, I'm a huge Marvel fan. So okay. The beach, could I live by that? I do that. Cool. I read. Beaching. Reading. A Who book. Knew? A real book. I love it. Um, so I'm going to sneak this in right now. We are asking for your support this year for our dancers. They get paid per performance and there is a, what I feel is a too small rehearsal stipend and we would like your help to sponsor these people. Um, they spend more time in rehearsal than they do in the shows and we have 14 shows so that's a lot of time in rehearsal. Um, and we really would love your help. Um, if you have a dollar or ten dollars or a hundred dollars, um, you can donate. Sponsor them. Let us know. Craig Miller gives this money directly to Craig Miller. Um, we would really appreciate your help. You can go to our website, danceintheparks.org, and donate there. Um, Facebook, we'll post right here on this post. You can do it. Uh, we'll put on our website who the sponsors are for each dancer so that you can see how your good work has helped. Um, we would really appreciate your help. Craig. Yes. You've come back for eight years. Yes. Despite, as I just said, I don't feel like I can pay any of you <laughs> for all the work that you do. There's not enough. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you keep coming back? Uh, well, for the, just like the personal, like this is really my, as of the past couple of years, it's really been like the only company I've been really been dancing with. 
um, because of the caliber of talent and how it is run. And like, I, I mean, I really do love our mission. I still believe in it. I think it's even more and more relevant. Like people need to have a place to come see dance and free dance because we are a city that is full of art and culture. Mm -hmm. It's a world-class city of arts and culture. And it's amazing to me that the people in these different communities we go to never see any of it. Like they don't know. Yeah. It's not in the neighborhoods. It's hard to get there. It costs money to babysit. The tickets cost money. Like there are so many barriers, not to mention just if you've never seen concert dance, why would you know to go see some more? Right. So we're trying to build those bridges. Yes. And so. I really, like that's always why I come back and that's why I believe in what we do and why I work so hard to make sure that we present ourselves the best that we possibly can. And he does that by dancing and holy bananas y'all. His social media, oh it's so good, it's so good. I don't have the time to do it and I don't get it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, that's why. All right, well Craig, as always, thank you for all of your hard work. I'm glad you're coming back every year. <gasps> um, to all of you, thank you for watching. Please donate, support, us and support Craig. Um, your sponsorship means a lot to us and it really means a huge amount to these dancers who just, I cannot pay enough. Danceintheparks.org for all of your Dance in the Park needs. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!